There's no equal to part, so it's going to be a dotted line. Okay, we're still in slope-intercept form, which is a lot of your lines are going to be. So this is my y-intercept, this is my slope. So I can come down here to my y-intercept of negative 3 and put my first dot. A negative slope is going to make the line look like this, so I'm going to go up 1 and to the left 5. Up 1 to the left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And technically, you really wouldn't need any more than 2 on here because we're not trying to be precise. We don't have a system or anything. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this time when I use my box to draw my line, I'm going to make this dotted. Okay, so dotted or dashed line, that's what I'm meaning when we have a dotted or dashed line. And then we're going to test that zero, zero point. Okay, so identifying where it is, it's the origin. Again, do you have to test zero, zero? No, I could test any point. If the line or inequality that you graph goes through zero, zero, you have to pick a different one. Okay, but in this case it did not go through it, so I can pick 0, 0. y is less than negative 1 fifth x minus 3. I write the equation down again just so I don't make any silly mistakes. I'm going to plug in 0 for x. I'm going to plug 0 in for y. So then 0 less than question mark a negative 1 fifth times a 0 minus 3. Okay, so doing the math over here, 0 times the negative 1 fifth is going to give me a 0. Minus 3, I'll have a negative 3 on that side. 0 is less than negative 3. This one turns out to be a false statement. All right, now what that is telling you, this point, 0, 0, that's located right here, will not make this inequality true. If this point does not make it true, none of the points on this side of the line will make it true. None of them do. So I want to shade. We're shading the solutions. So I want to shade where they are making it true. That means these points over here are the ones that have to make it true. So when it's false, you shade on the opposite side of where you have the line.